So we want to start styling up our app component here. Uh, and our main goal is to get this text uh, back into the middle so that people can see it on screen. Uh, we don't want things trapped up in the top here, especially overlaid on top of, you know, like the time and stuff. Uh, I always thought that was kind of weird with iOS. I think Android's somewhat similar, but they, I think it's like a, a grayed out bar. Um, you know, you'd probably see, you, you, you would know best on your own device, um, as I'm sure many of you are probably using uh, the share feature of Expo, but, uh, oops. Um, regardless, we're going to, uh, to style this up now and get this in the middle. So styling inside of React is a little bit different, uh, especially with React Native, than say like, you know, doing CSS in web development. In some ways it's pretty similar because CSS, uh, the same CSS styles and stuff, the same like kind of um, lingo is going to be used in React, just slightly changed. Um, but it is a little bit different because you're not, you know, you're normally with like CSS or something, you would say like class equals, and then say like, you know, my class inside like this. We're not going to be doing that. You'll see exactly what we're gonna do in a second here. Um, so what you need to do is you need to uh, go up to the view here and we're just gonna add in a style prop. And I'm gonna put these curly braces in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, well, you know, I'll show you inline first. So this is an inline style. So uh, you have curly braces and then you want another set of curly braces inside of it just like this. And we're gonna type in a few commands basically which are going to, um, you know, help style up and, and tell this text where it should be on screen. The first thing, the first one you want is something called flex. So notice I have flex colon and then I have one here. Uh, if I go ahead and save this and run it, uh, nothing changes yet. But that's because we need a couple other things combined with that for it to really work. The next one is something called align items. Notice the capital I there. And then inside of quotes, uh, type center. Make sure you get that comma right after the one there. And I'm going to hit save and render it. Now this time it did move. This time it moved to the center. So align items center is going to take whatever you got and center it up. So whatever items you got on or inside of this view tag, just the text in this case, it's going to get centered up right in the middle of the screen. Now we want this down here though. So the last one you're going to have to put in is something called justify content. <clears throat> and then you're also going to want to say center for that as well. And this is going to push it right into the middle, exactly what we want. Um, now I will say, you know, make a little note of this. Uh, notice that we have all these styles kind of sitting in line here. Um, this can kind of get messy, especially if we have like, you know, this is just three different style commands. But what if we have like ten? Uh, then this is going to get pretty long in here, and it might get kind of messy. We usually want to separate out um, just the simple components and stuff that we get inside the app from the styles. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and cut that out of there and type in styles dot view style. Now why did I just do that? Well I'll show you down here. Uh, we're going to make a styles object. So we're going to say const styles is equal to an object. Uh, just the curly braces there. That's all you need. And we're going to say that we have a, uh, a key value and the key is going to be view style exactly as we have it up here. Colon and then they open up the curly braces and actually, you know what? Close the curly braces. Just go ahead and paste that in there, what you got. And if you run this, you'll notice that nothing changes. Everything's going to be the same. Basically, all we did was we moved um, the style down here so it's a little bit out of the way and replace it with a couple of variables, um, just styles and then, you know, the, the uh, key value inside of that object, view style. So that's kind of, this is the, you know, the start of how you style things inside of uh, React Native. Um, it, it can be kind of a pain sometimes, because especially if you're coming from a CSS background, you're probably used to having like a totally different CSS file, and maybe you use something like Bootstrap to get things out, uh, off the ground, and this can be like a pain if you're coming from that, because you're, you don't want to have to declare every single style in the world, but don't worry, uh, stick with it, I'll show you um, some more techniques in the next lesson.